Hi everybody, happy Chew Tuesday, coming at you with a three box break of 2023 Panini Donner's Football Hobby Edition, random team break number six. Um, one spot gets you two teams, all card ship, looking for downtowns, etc., etc. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Let's uh, double up, uh, uh. like Sir Mix-a-Lot. All 32 are in, let's roll it, let's randomize names and teams, two and a four, six times each. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Got Chris down to Michael. Two and a four, six times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, and six. We got Ravens down at Panthers. And here's how it shakes out. Chris, you got the Ravens. Brian with the Patriots. Matt with the Steelers. Arthur with the Cowboys. Jalen with the Bears. Robert with the Cardinals. Andrew with the Lions. Brian, you got my Raiders. Jose with the Titans. Karen with the Browns. Robert with the Texans. Uh, Robert J with the Texans. Robert H with the Seahawks. Andrew with the Falcons. Joe with the Vikings. TJ with the Niners. Jalen with the Commanders. Andrew with the uh, Packers. Michael with the Rams, Robert J with the uh, Buccaneers, Robert H with the Giants, Matt with the Eagles, Robert H with the Chargers, Arthur with the Dolphins, Brian with the Bengals, Andrew with the Chiefs, uh, TJ with the Broncos, Jose with the Saints, Karen, you got the Colts, Joe with the Jags, Brian with the Bills, Chris with the Jets, and Michael with the Carolina Panthers. Uh, let's order these alphabetically by team. We will pause the video when we come back. We're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the three box break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. Welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals are done here on a Chew Tuesday, the 23rd, 2024. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Appreciate it. We do have another three box break loaded up, and the next three boxes from a fresh case. NBA action in the background. We've got Knicks at Nets. Any any NFL news happening here? My Raiders working on hiring a former Chargers GM Tom Telesco. Yeah, there are downtown possibilities here in Donruss. Like the one, uh, like the one featured in the in the in the product, the product image. That would be a good one to get. Bill's GM saying they still see Diggs as a number one wide receiver, despite a bit of a dip. Eagles offensive coordinator ousted. Titans nearing a deal with Callahan as coach. Bucks is Todd Bowles on not using the last time out. He's saying the game was over. I mean, you can't take them with you. I feel like you should just use it anyway. Even if you have a 0.00001% chance, you might as well try. Niners Debo does not have a fractured shoulder. No, uh, Is there any word on whether he's going to actually play or not? Here's a great headline from ESPN. Experienced officiating crew to work Super Bowl. What does that mean? Does that, is, is, is that implying that in previous years they were not experienced? The NFL is named Bill Vinovich as its lead referee for Super Bowl LVIII. Vinovich's third such assignment is second in the past five years. Maybe Super Bowl experience. It just it just seemed like a funny headline. <laughs> All right, first box. What are we looking for here? One autograph and one memorabilia card per box on average. All card ship. There's a lot of little variations here that you'll see 
you know, like there'll be like the copper foil on this one, a lot of red foil stuff. Sometimes there'll be middle names, no names. So we'll ship everything. So keep an eye out for some of those variations. Got Zach Charbonnet, Elite Series rookie. Got a Jonathan Mingo die cut. That is 30 out of 75. That'll be for Carolina. That's going to go to Michael. In Carolina. There's a Puka Nakua. He had a great season. For the Rams, that's going to be for Michael. Michael L. Aiden Hutchinson is going to try to disrupt Brock Purdy and the Niners this weekend. Frank Corb. This was she Rice. Had a nice game last week. Uh, that one's not numbered, but you see like the no name right there. That's Zaire Franklin. It's going to go to the Colts. There's a Flowers. Desmond Ritter, I'm, what are the Colts going to do at that? Or what are the uh, Falcons going to do at that quarterback spot? It'd be interesting. Are they going to get Bill Belichick? There's a quarterback, Hendon Hooker for the Lions. That'll be for Andrew and the Lions. We've got Devonta Smith. We'll have some new offensive coordinators to work with next year. Nick Folt, that's a low number, 7 out of 10. That'll be for the Patriots. That's going to go to Brian Brady. I feel like I think recently the new uh, Patriots head coach sounded like they were going to they're going to spend a little bit of money. Yeah, they might have to find a quarterback, too. There's Aiden O'Connell for my Raiders. It's also for Brian. There's another Hendon Hooker. Aaron Donald. A couple inserts here. And four out of 50, it's a Joe Thomas Hall of Fame on-card autograph. Cleveland, this is for you. It'll be for Karen and the Cleveland Browns. Nice. Yeah. No, no word on why Milwaukee, while well, well, Milwaukee, the Milwaukee Bucks, speaking of head coaches, uh, fired Adrian Griffin. I don't know if there's like some behind the scenes stuff that's happening and the Bucks are just getting ahead of it. Or if they're just getting ahead of the fact that the Bucks, in spite of their record, I think rank close to last in a lot of defensive metrics. So that's like the underlying thing. You're 74 out of 150 Jalen Rager for the Vikings, Joe. And so I think the Bucks may have, may have wanted to try to get ahead of that. Yeah, and maybe players lost trust in the coach as well. So maybe there's some locker room issues there too. Here's a nice Josh Jacobs. 44 out of 100. He might return to the Raiders after the, since they hired Antonio Pierce. Be for Brian and the Raiders. Oh, wow. Management is watching practices recently because of the tensions. So what were the, what were the tensions then? Just players not agreeing with the scheme, the rotation, that sort of stuff?
Yeah, defensively, they have not been good. Here's a two up. 13 out of 100, Gridiron Kings. Yeah, those all Pro Kings cards look really nice. Big, thick card stock, too. Yeah, yeah. NBA, obviously, NBA teams are much smaller, personnel wise. So there, I mean, there is a, I think most teams will have like a defensive coach. But yeah, it's really the head coach that's drawing up uh, a majority of the plays. It's not like they have different coordinators or anything like that. At least not with most NBA teams. Then that might be assistant coaches that are more defensive minded and offensive minded. But really the head coach kind of leads the way. All right, another box. I think from what I was watching today on the talking head shows on ESPN and NBA Network and, and whatnot, like it sounded like not only what uh, what 19MF was saying, but you know, there just seemed to be the feeling that he wasn't going to be the kind of coach that could lead the Bucks on a deep playoff run. They saw it early and they pulled the ripcord on it. Which is interesting. There we go. Several Bucks players, this is a quote for uh, Sports Illustrated, right? Several Bucks players, including Giannis, had a lot of faith in the Bucks coach, Adrian Griffin. What do they lose faith in, I wonder? Just all of, just any of the decisions that he's making, the plays that he's calling? I mean, that's what it is. They say, as they say in Australia, the Bucks aren't here to f spiders. They're here to win championships. So, if they think they could get a coach right away, Doc Rivers is, a, is has been one of the names floated. If they, if they can get an experienced coach that they think could get them over the hump and deep into the playoffs, win a win an NBA Finals, win a chip. I mean, I guess you got to make that move now, sooner rather than later before the trade deadline in February. All right. Another box. Jameer Gibbs rated rookie. It'll be for the Lions. Andrew with the Lions. Here's a Anthony Richardson Gridiron Kings card for the Colts. That will be for Karen. Christian Kirk. Aaron Donald. Tyree Wilson, who's been improving game by game. I don't think they ever intended it to, Raiders never intended it for him to start as early as he did, but he improved with, with each game. Here's Tajay Spears. That is 115 out of 500 for Jose and the Titans. That was the reason why Tyree Wilson had to start a little bit earlier, coming off an injury in college. Is Isaiah Pacheco. Case Brown. Tyler Scott is your autograph in that Donner's Optic design. 
for the Bears. Jalen with the Bears. Bears' new offensive coordinator, right? I feel like that often. I think I read somewhere that offensive coordinator has connections with uh, with Caleb Williams. So maybe no more uh, no more Justin Fields. Here's a Bryce Young. Michael with Carolina. Tosh to 25 for the Seahawks. That will be for Robert, Robert H. in Seattle. And we've got a nice all pro Kings, Patrick Mahomes. 76 out of 399. Another AFC championship game for Patrick Mahomes. But is this this is the first one on the road for him, I think. Bijan Robinson, the rookies for Atlanta. That's for Andrew. This is Rich Eisen. Fans of the game, fans of the Jets. I wonder if there's Rich Eisen autographs in this. There must be, right? It'd be kind of cool. Nick Chubb, 100 out of 100. Keeping it 100 for Karen and the, and the Browns. Android gang was it actually not anymore. Gilo. Not anymore because there is a web browser version that anyone can use for Fanatics Live. Thanks for allowing me to highlight that. And obviously all phone users can use uh, the YouTube. Josh Downs, Hen and Hooker. There's a CJ Stroud, nice, the rookies. Insert and that sort of X Fractor design there. It's a little buggy. Well, uh, I would, uh, whatever bugs you get, I would report that to them. Those uh, those engineers are uh, are always uh, always updating, working on things, updating things. We've met a few of them. They're all pretty pretty sharp. They're always looking for feedback, so I'll always send that feedback in. Anyone have any early, uh, it's only Tuesday, but anyone have any early feels on the, uh, on the two conference championship games? I feel like the first one, uh, Chiefs at Baltimore, that's noon, my time. That's the CBS game. That game will probably be over by the time we start the stream here. Or maybe close, unless there's a, uh, unless there's overtime. Well, if the game just takes a little bit longer than usual, then we might catch the tail end of it here. And we'll definitely have Detroit at San Francisco. We'll be able to, able to watch all of that together on Sunday. Anyone have a feel for, uh, for these games? Who's going who's gonna to win? Against the spread or, or, or otherwise? Check to see if there's any any line movement. Not not that much. Chiefs at Ravens. Ravens opened at minus three. They've moved to minus three and a half. Chiefs by a hundred. I'll bet you can get an offshore to to give you odds on that. Ah, Duncan likes the what. Well, is that a, would that be an underdog story, Duncan, or would would the Lions advancing the Super Bowl be a uh, 
under cat story. I'm here all week, folks. Yeah, we kind of have seen the Chiefs a lot, right? For what it's worth, I think I've already put an early pick on the uh, Ravens at minus three. ESPN Analytics has the Ravens winning outright 63.6% of the time. Chiefs as a dog, though, they're usually pretty good as, as an underdog, so we'll see. Gila, I think we've seen your Chiefs in the uh, AFC Conference Championship life like last six, seven years in a row. Justin Fields, yeah, Rex, the... The Bears signed a uh, hired a new offensive coordinator that apparently has some connections with Caleb Williams. And I know we're just connecting dots here, but if that's the case, then it might be the end of the Justin Fields era because I don't know if they're going to hold. I mean, he might have more value in a trade at this point. There's 11 out of 75 Nick Chubb, unless they keep both of them. He might keep both. I might keep Justin Fields as a backup. I don't know how happy he's going to be about that, but they might do that. And they should make it an outright competition, or they could trade him. But I feel like they can't not pick Caleb Williams. Justin Fields be damned, I guess. There's Trey Tucker, hopefully new whoever the whoever the new Raiders offensive coordinator is gonna be. Maybe they'll unlock Trey Tucker. Speedy Trey Tucker. Derek Forrest Jr. Gold die cut, 10 out of 25. That'll be for Washington. That's gonna to go to Jalen and the Commanders. Sam Laporta. What's gonna happen with Jimmy G? I don't think he's, I think they're probably gonna release him before whatever release schedule helps. The cap. There's going to be a cap hit, but whatever. Just try to mitigate that as much as possible. There's another C.J. Stroud rated rookie card for Robert J. And the Texans. Yeah, Gilo is saying Chiefs for going to depend a lot on Joe Thune. The, uh, the Offensive lineman. And there's Josh Downs, 16 out of 49. That's your autograph. For the Colts, that's going to be for Karen and the Colts. Are the Ravens getting uh, Mark Andrews back? You know, it looks like he was practicing moving around, but I'm not sure if, if he's going to be activated for the game. All right, there's the relic right there. There's a Quentin Johnston die cut, 25 out of 75. This guy has a lot of promise, but kind of struggled his, his first year. There's some upside there. And behind Zach Charbonnet is Canton Kings, Isaac Bruce, 99 out of 199. Rams, that's gonna go to Michael. Rex is, wants to field some opinions on Justin Fields. Where's the most logical trade spot for Justin Fields? 
if he does indeed get traded. Eric Jennings thinks Falcons. Yeah, I feel like the Falcons feel like they've got a good running back. They've got uh, some, some, some pass catchers. Maybe they think a, a decent quarterback play could get them over the hump, especially sort of a weaker NFC South. That's not bad. Yeah, maybe with Bill Belichick. Although it's most likely that Josh McDaniels will be his offensive coordinator again and will be running things there, but... I wonder if... Uh, what about a team like the Vikings? I think they're unsettled at the quarterback position. Kirk Cousins might get re-signed, but I think he, he wouldn't even start until midway through the year. So... And Jonathan Allen is our final card of the break. There you go, gang. Donners, pretty nice break. Pretty underrated. A lot of fun stuff in here. Sometimes some, some surprises as well. Next three boxes are from a fresh case, so get in on it. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next Donners football break. Bye-bye.